When we first sat down about this album, it was like, I want the music to be a narrative, you know? Um, more so than the lyrics. The music had to tell a story, and I think the music tells the story of my life, you know? It shows you my upbringing. Like, you hear uh, the Jamaican heritage there, you know what I mean? And a song like um, Can't Hold Me Down. You, you hear the, the hip hop, you know, when that beat comes in and teardrops. You hear the garage and got my brandy, got my beats and bang down your door. You know, you hear the grime in Class of Deja. Like, this is my life. <laughs> My thing's more like, uh, bust a shot for a real one. I don't mean the gun finger, bust a real one. Free budget, we was raised on the real dons. Not all these Ross Clark little somethings. Nah, black suit like I'm dressed for a killing. Stepping up with Auntie, something fresh you be whipping. All black Range Rover, all black women. I bet the Daily Mail one for the shoppers bliffing. Hey, yeah. this one ain't got the summer run smash. Couple hundred plus back to your fucking quick maps. Out a character to guess, but it's facts, cuz. I was in Ayanapa in the guest club. You can dance demon and you can dance D dubs. Representing East in a sea full of sea ones. Uh, mm. A gangster, but I rave with them. Yeah, we dead. both pop 10 bottles of escapism. What was different about this album to others? Usually, when I hear a piece of music, if I don't come up with something straight away, I'll be like, maybe it's not for me. You know what I mean? This time it was like I would hear something. Um, and I'll be like, that's perfect. Although I don't know what to say on it, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try. And I'm gonna try again. Then I'm gonna wait three months. Then nothing's coming. Okay, I'm gonna wait again. A year later, one line. These tracks made me work hard. Here's that suit. There was no one single approach from from any of us. We talked a lot about sort of minimalism in terms of sound. You try stuff and it was like, oh, try, let's try and shorten this or let's try and add this here. Just like ideas, ideas, ideas. Going around and round. You realise, oh fuck, sometimes it's not about adding stuff, let's try and take away. Anything that ain't integral just don't need to be there. No unnecessary shit. Trouble was probably a moment for all of us where it was like, we almost lost that track, you know. The sort of idea came up probably six months after we first did the tune to kind of just chop something completely different into the middle of the tune. And I was like, what if we put a scene in the middle of like a stabbing? And then continue again. What's that? All the mothers worry when we touch the road. Cause they know it's touch and go whether we're coming home And either that's the shit that could happen to us Or the shit we might do if you violate the code it's turning over no To me trouble's time. like you're walking along no Minding your own inside. business It's a nice day boy, and, that's the thing now. and there's a smile on your face over And then BAM! <laughs> that happens yeah, no, You I can't avoid it oh You know that's why that scene is not an interlude, it's not at the beginning where you can skip it, it's not at the end, it's like it interrupts your day. And that's how everyone's living. Check, check, check. Life and for the milligan of peace will be poor round hitting for the seats. No one's don't lie, give a penny for the guy, but it won't give a penny to the streets. Really gonna repeat bare limits of machines where they should have been reveling their teens. We're privileged kids got a semi in their jeans. These kids got a semi in their jeans.
means Man to believe this is what our streets have come to More fear with no way to run to But all this fear, these cunts don't love you That's why I stay with a quick 16 on me Nobody can take these 16s from me Make my paper and tuck that properly Pay my tax and I'm fucked up bobbies Trust nobody I ain't meeting no suits in lobbies I ain't smoking no suits with no As an artist it's it's part of my job to talk about the times that we're living in. Don't dare cross me, life of a lyricist. In the times that we're living in, gotta speak mind of the bigger thing. Shine is irrelevant. The brain is imperative, gotta put brain of a million straight, but the vision is. I didn't want to approach certain topics on this album as if I was talking down to people. I'm rooted in the street, I'm connected to the street, I'm from these communities, but I have distance. I'm over here, but we're on the same level. So I want it to be a conversation, you know? I get it. I understand. I know they don't. I know the media chat shit, but I get it. But I've experienced more. And I want more for you. So I have to show you my new perspective but I get it. To survive in this world. Every day, every day, every day, every day, every day, every weekend, yeah. Welcome to my city, man. Every day, east side shit. Every day, the shit we go through every single day. Every day, every Until day. Until the ones knee deep in it, I can't blame every you for this weekend, shit. The game's yeah. fucking rigged. But something's got to give. I think the beauty of a 10 track album is you can't waste anything, you know? Every song counts, you know? So to me, every lyric counts. Things were continuously evolving. In fact, I would say that things changed more than they stayed the same. Put like these two best of both worlds together and come up with something unique. That that's like it just comes into that sweet spot. You know? <laughs> <laughs> This song just put on a suit. <laughs> <laughs> this song just put on a suit. Absolutely shady. Check these. <laughs> D-double pulls them the convertibles. The loafers. <laughs> we had strict rules in this studio while making this album. No one could come in the studio without them. We've each got a pair. It came about after Bang Down Your Door. I think Blue might have said it. I was like, oh, this sounds like Gucci loafers. <laughs> you can't say something like that in the studio because uh, Blue or Jody will be like, all right, that's it. Everyone's got to wear Gucci loafers. And that's how we're going to make the rest of the album. The convertible, <laughs> <laughs> The convertible is what you get me. The convertible, the cutback. The cut back, yeah, so you can do the proper thing. <laughs> <laughs> All I'm 
get away with it Don't let me know baby with it No man I said limits with it Broke man on some kitty business I do rap and rent like this shit like Bush King Can't take away my classics Kid if it's poor man I'll take it to the mattresses Where were you back then? Deja came right at the last minute we wrote that song a week before we finished the record and considering some of the songs have been three years in the process to have one song at the end that just comes in and it gets all made in a week that's you know that's that, that was pretty mad as well and you know we was trying to make a track like that for the whole record because i did want to represent that energy on this album blue in particular was quite persistent in getting something like that and when it arrived straight away i was like double I don't know what other legends as a trio would come together to do a track like that. I was meant to be in another tune on his album. And then we played him that beat and he was like, nah, I want in on that one. He goes, I gotta be on that one. I said, but you're on this one. Nah, 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 nah. And I was like, yo. Yeah, that's the one. Like that is the one. That's what I need right this second. Then my pre I can see angles. Get money, get snakes by your ankles. Any cobras can get handles. Got enough for soldiers like that. Seeing Kane work on a regular basis, where he comes in and spits like all of his lyrics at once, is crazy enough. And then to, to sort of be here when Getz and Kane are like literally just writing that verse in the room. And again, you sort of, you know, they're, they're doing it under their breath for each other. It's like a, it's like a private thing. They're not trying to like, you know, gas everyone else about what they're doing. And at a certain point they'll turn around and they'll be like, we're ready. <laughs> Jeez. Old schools. People ask about like radio sets and that and do you miss it? And it's not necessarily something I miss. Like, you know, I, I think back on it with fond memories, but I'm not, you know, living my life today trying to recreate that. Um, it's like, it was what it was, it grew me, I had fun, and we made history, you know? But it's time to make new history. You know, I'll always be Kane Robinson from East Ham, you know what I mean? I just will always be. That might be the hook I could retire after. As an artist, I'm gonna discuss the harder topics, but I'm gonna celebrate the successes, you know. I see optimism, I hear hope in the album, um, I definitely hear celebration, so, yeah, it's, you know, it's just real. It's just real. Left the boy alone for get some pussy and some planting because of the sweet color of our skin. They won't fling but no, no skins at John Barnsies.